I wanted to start this episode by going back to the village thing because I think that's an important story part. But uh, no, it's about to be nighttime. So I fixed the fence up here, like I probably did that last episode. I also fixed this fence. Uh, I don't really have anything up here. So, well, I could probably drag something, but nah. I don't feel like it. So for now, we're just gonna try and see if we can survive the night. You know, I'm not gonna move really because not much point. But uh, we'll see. You know, I could probably like at least drag the light in, right? I mean, <clears throat> yeah, this could take a while. Wait, can't I just... Yeah, well, it's about the same, but... me. Eh. At least I get more mobility this way. I just realized the hitbox for the lamp is actually square, so... No. Well, I mean, that's dark, isn't it? Oh, that's why. Wow, you had to be raining. Where's the generator? Here it is. Oh, that light is on. Well, too bad. I, I want to be inside. Thank you. Let's put you on. Let's uh, drag you a little bit. Wait. Well, this works, actually. It's fine. Oh, wait. I can look over you. You aren't tall, are you? Oh, no. Well, then. If something comes at me from out there, oh, well, they're going to see me. <laughs> well, too bad. Well, they might be drawn in by that light instead. Hmm. Who knows? We'll see. You know. At least in, like, the start of the uh, night, we'll uh, see what's going on, eh? Anyways, uh, right. Uh, good day to all anyone out there. Motor squares are working back in Darkwood. See? <laughs> like, I haven't actually survived a night here, so... This is gonna be quite a test of my skills. Uh, I doubt I can. I hear ya. Oh no, the lightning is gonna ma let me see certain things. Ah, it's just gonna make me more paranoid. That's the eye. Okay. If the light is over there, I can at least see if things are coming. Sort of. Yeah. Hello? Anyone there? Well, the lightning helped. A little. You see, surviving the night is easy. All you gotta do is just ignore the goddamn everything around you and just pretend you're fine. Nothing to worry about. The lightning d What the fuck was that? Oh. It's the tree. It disappears when I have my mouse over it. Right. I forgot. Whoa, hey! No, ah, I broke the thing. Ow. Fuck. Well. I'm a master at survival. Oh, by the way, I have upgraded the axe with the axe head we got uh, before. Just so you know. Just so you're aware. Okay. So, uh, I am actually not going to keep the magazine on me. Thank you. Uh, how much reputation do I have with you now? 390. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. It's good enough for me. Let's see. Uh, fabric, 450. Yeah. So I'm very close to that, which is a thing I want. Maybe. Like, I'm not really sure if I need it. 
it, it would be nice to have, but um, still, like, do I actually need it? Need it? But uh, it's it's there. Like, if we find out, it would be beneficial, right? So, oh wow! Immediately, right? I forgot it's so close. Hello, hello. How you doing? Ow, ow. Why can you hit me? Like... What? Why? 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 I'm not gonna eat that. No thanks. God damn it! Why can you hit me but other, like, big dogs I've fought have, like, a terrible time at it? Fuck! Also, I need some light. I might not need it, but it is helpful. Yeah, I hear stuff. Right. So the gist of the things that's happening here is I do believe there's more to this place than what I saw before. Hello. Ow. Cool. Anyways. Let's try not to die this time. Right? Uh, t -t 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 -t. I saw that. What the fuck is that? Hi there! Uh, no thanks. Ah, uh, I, I hit you, damn it. No, 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 no. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, you had more health than I saw. Okay, cool. No thanks. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh. Oh. Oh, I cut off your legs. Ah, I see. Okay. Cool. What <laughs> the fuck? Uh, no. We don't need that. Hello. Also this. Can I go in here? No. I don't really need the mushrooms, I think. Oh, hello. Oh, is this what I need to do? Go in here? Oh, no. Never mind. I can't go in there. Go through the window. Cool, cool, cool. Huh. I... Yep, there was more to this place than I thought. Oh, you see this? See how big it is? Hello. What is this? Can I go through the window? Uh, well, or the door? Basement hatch. The hatch leading to the basement is blocked from the inside. The marks on it suggest something tried to break it open. I see. Uh, do I want to go in here? Absolutely not. But do I have to go in there? Most likely. Let's look around a little bit. Sorry? What's going on? Talking tree. I'm sorry? Hello. The tree is gigantic. Its bark stays in constant motion. It swells up and collapses into itself as if breathing. I see human silhouettes growing out of the tree trunk. They are also moving, as if gesturing in slow motion. Dozens of mouths repeat their lines simultaneously, creating a uniform noisy murmur. Between the bows, I catch a man's gaze. It's fixed on me. His body, similar to the other beings, seem to form an integral part of the tree. His limbs are gnarled and his face is grotesquely deformed. He's the only one to acknowledge my presence. His hand slowly raises, point to something on the horizon. Above the roofs of the destroyed village, the man's lips are moving, but the ghastly murmur of the other voices drowns out his words. <laughs> Kick the tree, hoping that the voices will go silent. Try to climb the tree. Look at the lips of the person talking to me. Even though the figure speaks sluggishly, it is too... Hi for me to read his lips properly. I think one of the words is radio. Do I try to climb the tree? Sure. The bark is slimy and soft. It's, it creases move away from my shoes and hands. I feel the, the arms that protrude from the root tugging to my clothes. 
I'm not sure if they want to drag me down or pull me closer. I barely break free from the grass. Climbing up is out of the question. Kick the tree. I kick the tree trunk with all my strength, breaking a branch sticking out from between the roots. It hurts. I hear a silent voice coming from beneath my feet. It's a face of a man who has grown into the root. He's completely covered in bark. His lips barely stick above the mud and his raised arms resemble branches. One of them is broke, broken in the elbows. Stump bleeds the white gooey substance. Instead of seeping down, it slowly flows upwards, forming a new arm. Okay. I'm barely able to make out any conversations. Uh, you took everything from us. Just oh, fuck. I clicked. Sorry. Right next to him, a woman's head wobbling from side to side repeats, We were hungry. We were hungry. Another figure hides his face under enormous roots, let out a chilling shriek. Quiet, fucking quiet, leave us in peace, shut up. It is interrupted by a man next to him, his intestine hanging out from his stomach. It was our common good. It was meant for all of us. You stole it. High above the top of the crown, two silhouettes hanging side by side from the hands and legs grow into the trunk and... Grown into the trunk are trying to bite each other's faces off. There's a little swelling in your face, starts me with curiosity. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna leave you? I mean, hmm. So the noise is. Oh, hello. A sickle. Oh, it's a weapon. Does not interrupt enemy attacks. Oh, hello. Oh, no. I didn't actually mean to go down. Well then. Uh, sure, why not? We're here, so... No, there's a thing. A hole in the wall of the basement that must have been made for growing roots, right? Who's there? No one. Go back to sleep. What do you want? Nothing, don't worry. Just trying to get out. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Water. Sing the soft, squaggy floor and barely move as if someone was holding my... Yeah, uh, no, 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 hold, 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 hold the fuck up. Um, sure. We're here, so why not? If I die, well, there's nothing to lose, really. I just have a sickle and something else. Wait. Oh, can't look at you. Ah, uh, the noise is so goddamn annoying. What? What the fuck? Don't do that. Okay. A shovel blade. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh. I see. Also, I will eat that. And I think I'll take that too. Can't enter that. What? The basement is blocked from the inside. The marks are suggested. Oh. Wait. Okay. Oh, so I can't go in that one. I need to go into a different one. Maybe I'm missing something, but I. I feel disappointed in that. But, okay. Well, uh, cripple. Oh, hello. What you bloody hell, you're alive. The old man extends his hand bl uh, blindly trying to reach me. You're not from around here, eh? You cannot be him. All them lads are dead. It's only me. Me and. He finally finds his arm and grabs it. For a moment, he clutches his hand in silence and you hear him mumbling under his breath. I don't have anything, mate. Only this... this chair. Bloody hell. His gaze moves somewhere under the leaky barn ceiling. What? The old man suddenly jumps up. What are you saying? I feel his long fingernails digging into man. Ain't no fucking tree, that. It looks like a tree, but those faces... I know him buggers. Every single one of them. So close and so fake. They're not real. They're not... From time to time, I thank God I went blind. I don't have to look at them. The old man lets go of my hand, leans uh, the broken back to the chair, sighs with relief. Leans against the broken back of the chair. God damn. It disgusts me. It fucking disgusts me. 
This buggery, this fucking scum. All the time I have to listen to its pathetic blubber. Complaining all the time, as if I were supposed to believe it's human. That is... That is me, Zotcha, yeah, right? He suddenly reaches towards me with both hands almost flailing from out from the chair. Grabs on my sleeve, feel all his weight on me. You lad, you've got your hands and legs, strong arms. I beg you, get rid of that filth from my village. I can't hear another, di can't bear another day of that abomination wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace, fucking hell! I want to die in peace. Listen to me. I thought thought about it for a long time. I've had a lot of time to think. For fuck's sake. His eyes widen, his pupils are milky white. I can feel him climbing my coat. I need to find the basement. Just the basement. I remember it. It's right next to the tree. The tree's too large, so if you can't reach it from the top, you've got to try it from the bottom. Find the basement. And there, surely you'll find a tree's roots. A bloody thing must have roots. That's where they are. Destroy them, pull them, drag them, twist the fuck out of them. You'll find a way, eh? I know you will. The old man slides down my coat straight into his destroyed wheelchair. For a moment, he searches for his stone, which he uses to prop himself against the muddy floor of the barn. Thank you. Thank you. Show item. These ruffians, eh? Sons of thief. Sons of a thief. There were seven of them. The mother took the four youngest ones. When the hunger struck, the other three stayed with the father. They were weak and sickly. One day the father got it into his head that the, they were getting smaller rashes because they've written them off. His hands started to trem uh, his hands started to tremble. So he went with a group of people to rob us of our food. Cripple goes silent. Last three of them out of the village. Don't know what happened. The woods savages looking for the place. Give us back the woods. I can hear the cries of the thief. All the blood. Wait, three. Hold up. Isn't the merchant thing here in the swamp like the three? Ah. The old man grabs the photograph, feels it, then takes it out of a small glass object from his pocket. The road! The road home! What a load of bollocks! The road to madness is what it is. All sorts of things used to happen in our village. Sometimes a mug got punched for some silly thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> <coughs> oh, fuck, I laughed too hard there. <coughs> A mug gets punched. A faint smile appears in the man's face. But we always stick together. When the time came, we had to. It's hard to see the echoes of the times in the tree's moons. The fucking monstrosity won't let me forget. I don't know why I did that accent, but it just came up. I used to be different here. First, the woods changed. The tree started sprouting up everywhere. We were cut off. Then the water flooded our fields. People went crazy out of hunger. They fought over food. What are you going on about again? The old man leans towards me, scowling. The wheelchair! They were taught me legs. Then those wankers burnt me house and me pigs. But it was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease. So they said. And my Zosha. That disease took her from me. All I have is this wheelchair and this land. Oh my, I've come to uh, no one listened more, everyone was dead, sound of uh, hours ago, rest of the no one managed to replace my swamps. Come across some wheels, two little wheels, so that I could fix my chair. Right. Two wheels. Uh, hmm. Well, uh, I think... Look, uh, well, I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Well, too late. <laughs> I removed your blockade. Now you're in danger. Sorry about that. I tried to... Uh, rubble. Dig. Oh. I need to make a shovel. Oh. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Utilize everything, right? Disassemble tra- Oh, scrap metal. I'll take it. I feel like I- Yeah, that's what I thought. No, 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 no. Hold up. Come here, motherfucker. Fuck you. Wood logs. Oh, hey, I'll take it. Also, Swamper. You don't even think about trying to get me 
The word thieves has been scratched out on the floor. Oh, I see. Doorway. Repair. New. I don't think I will. Oh, there's another one. I heard some splashing. Yo, well, I thought there was another one. No, leave me alone. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! No, 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 no. But what, what, what is happening? I, I, I can't move. I, oh, did I die? Oh. Well, I mean, that's a thing. I can't make a shovel. Hold up, am I not supposed to? Oh, do I need to upgrade the workbench before I can? Oh. Well, I mean, huh. That, hmm. That puts a little dent in my plans. I, uh, and I don't really have a shovel in here either. That is annoying. Right, okay, uh, hmm. What to do with that information? Eh? Something. Something. I don't know, man. What you want me to do, huh? Great. This is, um. This is fantastic, isn't it? Wait a minute. I unlocked this door. Room entwines the cottage interior all the way to the What? The fuck? Hold up. I didn't know I actually had the key to this. It said opened up with the key ring. I feel like this is something. Maybe? Like, what? Rocking chair. Oh, is this nothing? Oh, hello. Yeah. Well. Look, I want to see if I can find some pair of pliers here. If I didn't find some before. Huh. If I can find, like, look. <clears throat> I don't think the merchants sell it, so I need to find it somewhere, right? So why not try here? Since I know there's something... Oh, well, uh, uh, I can't really go this way. Can I go through your house? Thanks. Come here now, come. What happened? Basement's flooded, eh? Am I right? Dog's bollocks. Everything's fucking flooded. Eh? What? Yeah, yes. Elephants... Elephants? Ever seen elephants, Mitty? The uh, eastern, part... eastern part of the swamp. Their house is in the thicket. A flooded forest. Oh, oxygen tank. Here they keep themselves. Don't fancy us bloody elephants. They have uh, these oxygen tanks, lots of them tanks. And if the basement is flooded, you could use an oxygen tank. Ah. Oh. <coughs> I see. Okay, so it's a good thing I came back. <laughs> Anyways. Ah, uh, well then. Well, the thing is, I need to find something more than just oxygen tanks. I need to find a pair of pliers. Which is kind of difficult, because I have no idea where I could actually find them. Shelf. No. Also, if I already found them here, well, this is going to be a waste of time, isn't it? <laughs> no door? No? Hello? Corpse! A knife! I don't think I need a knife. A corpse! Fuck! Well, I'm poisoned. Nothing to worry about. I might just die. Don't worry, everything's fine. Can I go in here? Wire and bread. Well, I could do that. I heard him. What? 
Locks, I can open it with a lockpick. Well, I do have a lockpick. Every day I can hear him more clearly. Corpse, a torch, great. What is happening here? Uh, I don't really have a light. Well, I do have the torch, actually. Well, am, wait, am I being poisoned from being in here? Oh, I was. Hold up. Oh, no. I was just poisoned for a very long time. Okay. Uh, shelf, a little bit of bread, a little bit of bottle. Eh, okay. Nothing over here. Should return to my hideout before nightfall. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Oh. Well. It seems I was correct. Uh, but. Well. Okay then. Hold up! Fabric! No, grab it. Yep. Got it. Got it. Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Got it. Just gotta get out of here. Uh, I don't remember how. Fuck. Uh, hold up. Go. Go, 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 go. We need to go back home. <clears throat> because I have good stuff on me. No, don't get stuck on a fucking thing. Yeah. Run! Hold up, I have bread. Bread, help me! Yeah. Stamina! We're doing fine! Woo! Zoom like a fucking flash! Uh, not into mushrooms, thank you very much. Uh, it's fine if I die. I'm very close to my base. Uh, well, actually, I would love to die in my base, because then I can recover my inventory. Well, then. Uh, well, this is gonna be a problem. Hmm. What is this? Adrenaline. You deal double dam- Oh, because I'm low on health. Right. Uh, well, night time is a thing, isn't it? Oh, let me charge my thing. In case something comes after me, right? Come here! I can do this! Oh, wait, hold up. No, don't lose anything. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Come here! Come here! I'm ready for you! No? No one? No one gonna... Whoa! Hello! Oh, well, I mean... Okay then. I... I'm kind of disappointed in that, actually. Oh? Anyone else? Huh? You wanna come after me? I doubt I'll survive this night, because I'm, like, what is that, 10% health? Ah, don't worry. Deal double damage. I can survive. I, I heard something. I am hearing something to my left. You gonna come out of the dark? Oh. Well, I think you broke my door. That's not very nice, is it? Come here. Fuck you. No, 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 no. Hold up. No. Oh, come on. Really? I had to be stunned. <coughs> well. That was fun. Don't worry. Everything's fine. 
Oh, the things disappear? Really? Damn it. Alright, anyways. I can upgrade my workshop. Your workbench. I want to make a lockpick as well. Ah, there we go. Right, some fabric. Hmm. I'm just going to sell that. There we go. Thank you. We'll just, um, hmm. Take that. Thank you. I do need to make another lantern. No. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't accept the trade. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold up. I need something else. What other thing did I... Ah, a bottle. Right. That, um... Uh, that makes sense. Uh, well then. I just... Hmm. Oh, I can make a shovel. Hey! I cannot make a shovel. Hey! I need a stick. How, how the fuck do I get a stick? Do you guys sell sticks? You do not. Uh, let me double check. No. Well then. Uh, hmm. I... Uh, hmm. <laughs> I just drank some alcohol and then I got another bottle. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, everything's fine. I can do this. So. But I do need a stick. I don't know where to get one. Right, I drank the alcohol, so I got those status effects. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Uh, otherwise. Uh, huh. Well, I do want to buy that, actually, because I, well, I, I don't think I can. Oh, there we go. Attacks use less stamina. Ta-da! And then I can do the sharpened uh, when I get more metal scrap. Hold up. How much do you sell? One, two, three. I'll take it. Ta-da! Oh, but I need eight, don't I? Shit. Okay, look, look. Hold up. Uh, can I do this? Hold up. Can I place this? And then disarm it. I mean, I know this is a waste, but... S scrap metal? Nah! -ha! Look at that! I am fantastic! Woohoo! But, um. Wait, hold up. Uh. Yeah, I need scrap metal to repair it. Uh, well, that wasn't the smartest thing, was it? Uh. Huh. Whoops. You just, uh, give me a bit of wood, because that's what I need. At the moment. Uh, well, I mean, we can, we can make another thing. Oh, wait, I need rope. Um, uh, well, uh, hmm. So, it mentioned something about an oxygen tank. So I need to visit these elephants. Uh, no, map. To the, is it this? Or is it like actually here to the east? I mean, hmm. It depends, but like it said something about oxygen tank. Hold on, let me go into the journal. Uh, what is it? some parts of the compressor, but compressor holes, mushroom granny, no less strange. I encountered talking trees, monsters blow to around by those voices. Found a cellar corridor. It's the only way out. Cripple, major cripple, just destroyed talking tree. He claims I first need to get to the cellar located near the tree. That's how I will find its roots, which I need to turn. Burn. According to him, it's the only way to get rid of this abomination. An advice from the blind. Deaf old man with no legs is the only lead I have so far. 
It's not much, but I've grown accustomed to it. The old man advised me to find the elephants and obtain an oxygen tank from them. It will help me pass the flooded cellar corridor. Supposedly, they live in the eastern part of the swamp. Right. Uh, hmm. So I need to go there uh, myself. Uh, not with the oxygen. That's what I'm getting from that. I. Uh, hmm. Hold up. I. Uh, uh. No. Hmm. I'll be taking these with me. Or, well, at least two of them, right? Well, actually, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at the time. Like, it hasn't been too long, but if I start now, it'll be way past my recording time. So, I hate to do this now, but I'm going to have to end it here. Uh, next time, at the very least, we'll go, like, over here. Maybe the Great Lake, if that's actually the part where I need to go. Go to the eastern part, okay? I, I like how I went to the western part, the one that I'm not supposed to go to. It's because I had the cottage thing. I also need to go there because of the snail thing. Uh, there are lots of things in this game. Listen, this is a great game. I like it. I love it. it it's good. Seriously, the atmosphere is fantastic. Some of the mechanics are a bit annoying. But aside from that, they still work pretty well with the environment, so I could deal with it. But for now, this has been Quasar, signing out, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, bye bye.